higher vitamin D status may reduce risk of death from COVID. So far, there have been close to 300 million confirmed cases and more than 5 million deaths from COVID-19, making it one of the leading causes of death globally. This pandemic has brought the world to its knees with contact and movement restrictions. And as more people look forward to its end, new variants emerge, as do prevention and treatment options to aid vaccination. This study looks at vitamin D status as a biomarker to predict your risk of death from COVID-19. Vitamin D, also called the sunshine vitamin, is a fat-soluble vitamin and an essential nutrient that one can get from sunlight that the body converts to vitamin D or from food and supplements. Healthy blood levels of vitamin D support bone health, immune health, and muscle function and help reduce the risk of diseases like heart diseases, autoimmune diseases, cancer, depression, multiple sclerosis, and diabetes. Also, numerous studies suggest that healthy vitamin D blood levels may protect against and reduce the severity and duration of respiratory infections, including coronaviruses. A person's vitamin D status is measured by checking their circulating level of 25-hydroxyvitamin D, 25-OHD. Globally, there is a high prevalence of inadequate vitamin D levels, making it a huge public health issue across all age groups. What's more, about three-quarters of the U.S. population have low vitamin D levels, as many don't meet up with the recommended vitamin D intake due to an indoor lifestyle and poor diet habits. According to the researchers of the present study, the popular dietary recommendation for vitamin D, which usually falls between 200 to 800 international units, or IUs, a day, is inadequate to meet up with 40 to 60 nanograms per milliliter blood level they consider the optimal range for vitamin D. Also, they put forward that high doses of vitamin D within the range of 4,000 to 10,000 units, which may achieve optimal vitamin D levels, are considered safe when there's sufficient vitamin K2 in the blood. If taking high doses of vitamin D, you may also want to monitor blood levels to make sure they are not getting over 100 nanograms per milliliter, as too much vitamin D can be toxic. Generally, experts suggest that getting 5 to 30 minutes of direct sunlight in the early hours of the day, having vitamin D-rich foods like eggs, fatty fish, mushrooms, dairy products, and supplementation may increase a person's vitamin D levels, but measuring your vitamin D blood level is the only way to know for sure your vitamin D status. According to the researchers, the study's objective was to investigate the correlation between vitamin D levels and COVID-19 severity and mortality risk, and show that vitamin D deficiency is a significant cause of severe COVID-19 infections, and not merely a marker of it. The study performed a meta-analysis on two independent datasets a population study on the long-term average vitamin D levels in 19 countries, and seven clinical studies on 1,601 hospitalized COVID-19 patients demonstrating vitamin D status pre-infection or immediately after admission. The study found that the severity and risk of death from COVID-19 decreases with increasing vitamin D levels. The researchers further noted that COVID-19 severity in older adults, dark-skinned individuals, people with certain health conditions, and increased infection rates during winter support the findings on the inverse relationship between vitamin D status and the outcome of a COVID-19 infection. What's more, the study observed that vitamin D levels at 50 nanograms per milliliter may significantly reduce the risk of developing severe illness and death from COVID-19. The researchers recommended that promoting vitamin D3 supplementation to reach 50 nanograms per milliliter blood levels may strengthen immune health supplement vaccination efforts against COVID-19 infections, reduce the death rate from COVID-19, and be one cost-effective intervention for limiting the spread of the virus.